Hi, I'm Carl, and in this video we're going to go over questions 69 to 72 of section 3 of the pink booklet. So this is a question about ADH, which is an enzyme that oxidizes alcohol. So we've been given uh, this diagram which explains what happens. Question 69 says, consider these four alcohols uh, in the presence of the coenzyme NAD, the only one of these alcohols that ADH will not react with is what? So let's think about the structures that are uh, described here. So we've been given 1,1-dimethyl ethanol. So we've got two um, carbons because it's ethanol and then we've been given 1,1-diethyl. So that's CH3, CH3 and H2. So that's this first one. It's a tertiary alcohol and so ADH wouldn't react to it. So the answer for this one actually is A, but I want to go over the structures of the others. N-hexanol is just a way of saying that you've got six carbon atoms here, at some point you've got an OH, and that would be carbon N. Um, cyclohexanol is pretty much the same thing, but instead of being in a straight line, it's going to be um, like this here. And then one of these will have an OH group. And then benzyl alcohol. So this here is quite similar. It's got this hexagonal structure, but then there's this shared pool of electrons in the middle. So instead of these having two hydrogens, this would only have one. And one of these would be an OH group. And because these are both um, sort of cyclical, it would be okay. It's just this traditional linear tertiary alcohol and that ADH doesn't react with. So 69 is going to be A. If we look at question 70, it says the reaction of 2-pentanol catalyzed by ADH in the presence of NAD would produce what? So we've got these five carbon atoms and you might be able just to try and visualize this, but I'll draw a diagram and I'll just leave off the hydrogens for the sake of simplicity. And we've got this OH group here because it's 2-pentanol. This OH group then is going to be replaced by this double bonded oxygen. So what's the name of this? Well, this is carbon number two, and this is the ketone, so it's going to be two pentanone. And that gives us an answer of B. Then 71 says, illegally brewed spirits often contain wood alcohol or methanol as well as ethanol. Consider the following statements about the reaction catalyzed by ADH in the presence of NAD with these two alcohols. So the first one is that methanol is metabolized by ADH to form formaldehyde and ethanol is metabolized by ADH to form acetaldehyde. So we're asked which one is true, if either. So let's have a look at what would happen if you just had methanol. So we've got our hydrogens here and our alcohol group here. We know that this is going to be replaced by a ketone group or an aldehyde group, and this is acetaldehyde. So statement one is correct. But what about the second one? So we've got these two carbon atoms on our OH group. This OH group is going to be replaced then by our double bond oxygen. And then we've got our um, hydrogens that we can add in. And this here is going to be uh, acetaldehyde. So both are going to be correct, and that gives us an answer of D for 71. 72 says, which one of the following statements about the reactions of alcohols catalyzed by ADH in the presence of NAD is correct? So let's go through them uh, in turn. A says, the product formed by the reaction of a primary alcohol is a ketone. So a primary alcohol is an alcohol um, that has, so this alcohol group is going to be on a carbon, which is attached to only one other carbon. Um, so Imagine you have like a carbon chain like this and the OH group is going to be at one of the ends. Uh, if you replace one of the end groups with an OH, that's an aldehyde, not a ketone. A ketone is where you have it in the middle of the chain like this. So this is what would happen if you uh, metabolized um, a secondary alcohol. So that explains A and also actually explains B. B says the product formed by reaction of a secondary alcohol is an aldehyde, but it's the other way around, so A and B are both wrong. C says the product formed by the reaction of a tertiary alcohol can be an either aldehyde or a ketone. Um, so 
We'll skip on to answer D because that sort of rules this one out. ADH does not catalyze the reactions of tertiary alcohols. Now, um, this is important because we need to understand why that is. So we're told that the enzyme effectively removes the hydrogen atom of the alcohol group and a hydrogen atom on the carbon to which its alcohol group is attached. So imagine we've got our sort of carbon structure here. So this is what a tertiary alcohol would look like. And we're told that this enzyme effectively removes the hydrogen atom of the alcohol. So fine, we can do that. But then the next bit says, and the hydrogen atom on the carbon to which its alcohol group is attached. But in a tertiary alcohol, this carbon to which the alcohol group is attached doesn't have a hydrogen atom. So it isn't able to function. So tertiary alcohols can't actually um, be metabolized by ADH in the presence of NAD. So the answer for this one is going to be D. If that was questions.